Hello Capricorns, I'm back here once again and you're watching Sacred Earth Magic by Kavya. I'm going to be looking at the next major life change coming up for you. So let's dive into your reading and I'm going to be taking up cards from three different decks. Let's first proceed with the first deck and see what comes up for you. Give me one card for the next major life change coming in to the lives of Capricorns for Capricorns please one card for Capricorns all right it just fell down let me get that oh, Capricorns actually two cards fell out they popped out I'm going to take them wow this looks good already let me just take out some more cards and then we'll put two and two together. What's the next major life change coming into the lives of Capricorn, please? For Capricorns, please. Give me one card for Capricorn. This is the one I feel wrong too. Wow. It's another good card. There's the one popping out for you. Get the card off. Opened. Okay. Capricorns, I feel like with the Ten of Swords energy here, coming down to the Queen of Swords energy, this is a huge, huge leap where whatever you've been guided towards, you have uh, taken the, that energy and moved on. I don't see this as an energy of uh, something that's pulled you down. In fact, this has been something, this energy has been that of something that uh, keeps uh, guiding you in which direction to move. And I feel like uh, there has been a big, big push or you have had to make some big changes around your belief systems or um, your, something that you didn't understand quite earlier. But now you that everything is beginning to make sense. And uh, these could be the signs from the universe you could be putting together. And I feel like with the Queen of Swords, now things are falling into place for you. Because now you have a clear idea about where you're headed. And uh, again, your guides and your angels are here with you again. But now they feel that you can definitely take care of yourself better than where you were uh, previously. Maybe a few weeks to a few months before this. I also feel like there's a major event uh, up ahead of your life where there could be a fork in the road. You could be asked to make a decision and your decision could be with regards to either staying in the same place or locality, maybe moving somewhere. But I feel like this decision is going to between two, um, it's going to be between two paths that are completely, completely headed in opposite directions it's not something contrasting in nature it is very much in alignment with who you are and what you believe in right now but i feel like uh, there is prosperity up ahead on both those paths mm, i don't doubt that but then like uh, i feel you are going to take your time and you could be choosing the longer route but then again Everybody, um, each one of you Capricorns are going to um, follow a different timeline. And uh, I do not know what your decision is. But you're definitely looking into the future and thinking about uh, way ahead uh, of time when you where you are than where you are right now. I also feel like there could be something related to distant shores, travels, people or uh, different communities that you could be feeling drawn to. You might want to become a part of even that is possible up here for you capricorns you may be feeling very drawn to different cultures also maybe feeling drawn to learning about different cultures also that's also possible here if you're a capricorn that hasn't traveled to many places yet you are sure to have knowledge about those places now you want to get that you know that with a card of proposal I feel like um, definitely there may be a business opportunity or a collaboration or a partnership coming up ahead for you from a distant place or land or you could be looking at collaborating with people from distant places, far off places or maybe um, with somebody who's completely um, 
um, I want to say distant. I don't know why I'm tongue tied, but I see it very clearly in the energy. I feel like this is something uh, you are manifesting. You could be thinking about this strongly and you're manifesting this. And um, I also feel for some of you Capricorns who are not looking at this reading for work related changes in life. I feel like there is somebody you have your eyes on. And you could be attracting that person towards you. But however, that person could be coming towards you um, for a short term is what I'm feeling drawn to say. And um, I also feel like if whether this is a romantic partnership or a business one, um, it's going to be congenial. But it might not be so long um, as, as you think it's going to last or you hope for it to last. With the card of the orphaned, I definitely feel again here that you're going to realize that it's always easier and more important to learn to work by yourself as an individual than to um, have a crowd of people to look into what you're doing or be involved with a crowd of people. And this kind of gives me this hermit energy from the tarot deck. And I feel like you could be drawn to go inside. That number on the card is five, which is very, very contradictory uh, energy to what I am seeing in the picture. But uh, you could be a number five. You could be dealing with a number five. Not necessarily. You could be uh, very good in communication. You could have a fan following or a good fan base. Uh, but I feel like um, Capricorns, here you would want to uh, spend some time by yourself because that's how you know the best messages come in i also feel like you're going to learn to enjoy your company and um, even though you're out there you could be interacting with a lot of people you will be happy where you're there but um, at the same time you would want to invest more time in self-care here i definitely see that the next few weeks up ahead the major life changes are related to you moving on learning to listen to more uh, more to your soul your spirit your inner voice um, coming together with somebody who you think is going to prove helpful for you and at the same time learning to devote more time in self-care and then you do not care how many people are around you who you're interacting with or not because you've understood um, the value of uh, inner growth in a wisdom and this is a very powerful place to be in do comment and let me know capricorns how you're feeling about this energy and do give it a thumbs up please make sure you're sharing the reading with like-minded people and i'm going to see you uh, again with more readings up ahead for your sign make sure you do you subscribe bye bye